Why don't you help a friend in need? United Way of Story County is impacting our community in the areas of education, income, and health. And you are in a unique position to be a part of the movement. When we live united through giving, advocating, and volunteering, Story County is a better place for everyone. Reach out a hand to one and influence the condition of all. We may all be different, but together we can live united to create positive and long-lasting change in Story County. Education is at the forefront of building a full and prosperous life. No matter our differences, we can and we must come together to help our kids have access to the education they need. Literacy is a core component of that process. I'm Dallas Rust. And I'm Jonas Michael. And we're unique apart, but united together to improve children's literacy. The importance of third grade reading proficiency to a student's future academic success has been documented in research and has gained national emphasis over the last several years. The National Assessment of Education found that more than two-thirds of students nationwide were not proficient in reading by fourth grade. According to the Iowa Department of Education, only 77% of Iowa students in third grade were considered to be proficient in their reading performance for 2011-2012. The results are even worse for low-income students, with only 65% considered to be proficient in their reading performance in third grade. Dallas sees the impact on reading levels and learning. We know from research that students learn to read in kindergarten through third grade, but starting at fourth grade and on through the rest of their lives, they are reading to learn. We have a very short opportunity in the early grades to build a strong foundation for continued educational success and economic success. Knowing it is an urgent need for many children, United Way of Story County and other community partners came together to create a framework on how Story County can strengthen current strategies and bring new solutions to our area to be sure children are reading at grade level. When we first started looking at a collaboration, we didn't have one organization that could come to the forefront and lead it. And that's when United Way stepped in and said, we'll do this, we will organize this, we will bring everybody together, we'll talk about it, Without United Way, this would not have gotten off the ground. Jonas, a community reading collaboration member, knows classroom instruction is critical in building literacy, yet it can't be the only component. The collaboration is currently focusing on summer learning, family support, and an exciting new pilot project. Research will show that after three years of summer reading loss, students can be behind up to two grade levels when compared to their peers. We currently have in place a three-week summer program. Three weeks is just not enough to catch these students up. A good program would take about six weeks. This local collaboration and partnership with many other organizations in our community, we're looking at expanding those reading opportunities or the summer learning opportunities. And one way that we're doing that is that we're having satellite locations. So for example, at the Boys and Girls Club, at some low-income housing units, at a local daycare center, even the local library, uh, to make sure that students have access to books and some intensive instruction and intensive tutoring. This is important because we want to reduce that learning gap. We have to support parents because they're the most important teacher in a child's life. What it actually does is help us to give parents better opportunities and equip them with the skills to help be teachers for their students, and we need more than just financial resources. We have an amazing tutoring program. Without the tutors, the volunteers, without many of our partner agencies, we're not able to accomplish what we're able to accomplish currently. And that collaboration has been an integral part of making that happen for us. Capitalizing on the momentum from the reading collaborations work, United Way of Story County has partnered with United Ways of Iowa to promote grade level reading by participating in a pilot project to replicate the evidence-based Minnesota Reading Corps. The pilot will provide tutoring to struggling readers through a national volunteer service program. United Way and AmeriCorps have joined together to fund a pilot program that's going to be in four of the seven school districts in Story County. We're really excited about it because what United Way and AmeriCorps are doing is bringing a tutor into the schools to work with those children that are having trouble reading. We know that it's very effective to have 
daily one-on-one -on -one instruction with students that are struggling readers. It's a very effective way to catch them up in reading. Students continue to progress even after they've graduated out of the program. Bringing this pilot project to Story County will make a difference in the lives of many children. Studies demonstrate that 95% of all children have the capacity to learn to read proficiently if effective interventions are provided. Passionate people like Dallas and Jonas and many other United Way of Story County donors make the difference. I think one of the most important things to do when you think about your life is to think how you can give to others. And sometimes it's just monetary, just giving. But there's a second part to that, and that is to advocate. So once you give your money, you need to follow your money. And the best way to do that is by volunteering. For individuals and families walking a financial tightrope, meeting basic and emergency needs is tough. No matter our differences, we can work together to ensure more people in our community are self-sufficient. I'm Mike Fritz. And I'm Pat Feedy. And we're unique apart, but united together in helping our neighbors in need throughout Story County. Good Neighbor Emergency Service, which is one of nearly 30 United Way of Story County partner agencies, works with individuals and families who are facing financial difficulties. Good Neighbor Emergency Assistance became a United Way of Story County partner agency back in 2008. Since that time, United Way has been instrumental in all of the programs provided by Good Neighbor, including providing startup monies for our gas voucher program, assisting us with our rent and utility assistance programs, and allowing us to expand our healthy food voucher programs. United Way has been a true partner to Good Neighbor. Good Neighbor's Emergency Rental and Utility Program provides financial assistance to help ensure that families remain in their homes without the disruption of needed services. The agency's transportation and food assistance programs help those who need a hand up. The organization also gathers information to demonstrate the positive impact from this assistance. The four different programs we have are really designed to help people in crisis situations, folks that um, really don't know where else to turn, to make sure that they can stay in their homes with the lights on, make sure that there's nutritious foods on the table. So many of the folks that we see at Good Neighbor Emergency Assistance, their budgets are stretched so tight that one unexpected expense means they have to make very difficult decisions. And that's where Good Neighbor comes in, is to help them address those needs when they arise. For the last two or three years, we've implemented follow-up surveys, and we're currently conducting those right around nine months after the assistance has been provided. 76% of the folks that received rental assistance, when we did that follow-up survey, they, they were either still in their homes or they had moved in good standing with their landlord. 86% of the folks receiving utility assistance either still had open accounts or had closed the accounts without leaving an outstanding balance. These positive statistics make volunteers for Good Neighbor energized about their work. For instance, Pat Thede acts as an advocate for Good Neighbor and its clients, and she knows others can get more involved in causes they believe in too. I advocate for Good Neighbor because it's important and it's my community. I am proud that I am finally aware of how much need there is in my community. It stands to reason that helping people in need in our community is just a good thing. Helping people get on their feet to gain confidence in taking care of their families and figuring out ways to improve their lives themselves. I'm sure there isn't anybody who enjoys being in the situation that they're in. Whenever clients come through the door, they're treated with respect and kindness, and we protect their privacy and treat them with dignity and trying to meet their needs, whatever they may be. Pat touches the lives of so many people through her involvement at Good Neighbor. This year, the organization will impact more than 1,800 households. Each is coming with its own set of circumstances, yet Mike can easily recall one powerful client story. Every individual that comes to Good Neighbor has a unique story to share, but one that readily comes to my mind is um, one that I encountered the first year that I worked at Good Neighbor. And it was a young woman that came um, at the end of November. 
She had been in an abusive relationship, a, a horrifically abusive relationship, and had finally managed to get um, herself and her three children out of that. She had twin five-year-olds and, um, and a seven-year-old. And in fact, she'd um, enrolled at ISU and was working to get her degree. Her goal was to make life better for she and her children, and she was striving for that goal. Unfortunately, the transmission went out of her van and she had to use all of the end of her student loans for that semester to fix that transmission. It was the only transportation that she had. At the time that she came to meet with me uh, at Good Neighbor, her landlord was ready to evict them, even though this was the end of November and it was cold. Um, but I spoke with him and he wasn't playing. He wanted his money or they were gonna be on the street. And Good Neighbor did end up helping with that rent. But in the course of my conversation with her, I asked her what her support system was. And she thought about that for a little while. And then she looked at me and she said, you know, my mother died when I was nine years old. And so I was raised by my father and my grandmother. My gra grandmother lost her battle with cancer three years ago. My father committed suicide a year and a half ago. And my only sibling is a meth addict that lives in Des Moines. She said, I don't have a support system. I have absolutely no one that cares about me and my family. And I thought to myself that she was not right there, that the folks that contributed to Good Neighbor, the organizations such as United Way, that provide such needed assistance, they were her support system. And some of them she may meet, some of them she may never meet, but that didn't mean that they didn't care about her and her family. A healthy life is the backbone for a quality life and United Way of Story County is working to extend accessible health services to more individuals and families. No matter our differences, we can join together to ensure our community has access to affordable and quality care. Hi, I'm Dr. Katie Carney Porter. And I'm Dr. Jean Kim, and we are unique apart, but united together to help families have healthy smiles. Created to fulfill the dental needs of low-income families, the Story County Dental Clinic provides affordable dental care to many adults and children who have Medicaid or no dental insurance. The clinic offers a range of dental services to patients of all ages. A lot of people here, they come, some of them have never been to a dentist before. Um, some of them haven't been to a dentist in several years, and so they come with a lot of need and, you know, a lot of teeth that are causing them discomfort and so without this clinic here it would not be feasible for them to drive several hours several times to get that care. We do extractions, dentures, crowns, fillings, exams, cleanings, we even do uh, periodontal deep cleanings like scaling root planing. So we see a lot of comprehensive patients so a lot of people come here for emergencies and we try to get them you know come back on a regular basis so the emergencies don't have to happen again. The job satisfaction definitely comes from serving the people here who won't have access to care anywhere else. The appointment where they you know, leave with their dentures or their partials or their crowns, um, it's, that's probably the, <laughs> the best appointment there is. Making those smiles happen wouldn't be possible without volunteers. We do utilize a lot of volunteers, especially up front at the front desk. They help put names on files and help us file. And without that, we'd probably need to hire somebody else. So we really appreciate the volunteers. Volunteer opportunities extend beyond the front office. With an average 30 appointments every day, the Story County Dental Clinic utilizes volunteer dentists who give their time to help people in need of dental care. Access to care for dentistry is very difficult for some people. To have families who can't afford to go to local dentists, I think it's important to have a clinic like this open so that people can achieve their oral health goals. I started volunteering here in uh, 2009. I just think it's very important to give back to the community. I can remember a girl coming in and she was in tears because she had such bad pain in her mouth. We can take out the tooth here and get her all the way healed instead of just kind of giving it a little band-aid. When you've known you help somebody, you get a lot of benefit out of it as well. While volunteers help make the clinic possible, it's also essential to remember that funding is necessary to keep the doors open. As a United Way of Story County funded program, the dental clinic realizes firsthand the importance of donations to the Live United campaign. The funding goes towards equipment and instruments that help us 
become more efficient and able to see more people every day. So we really appreciate the funding from United Way. I'm Scott Bauer, your 2013 Live United Campaign Chair. United Way of Story County is in a unique position to impact our communities in the areas of education, income, and health. And you are in a unique position to make that happen. When we are united through giving, advocating, and volunteering, Story County is a better place for us all. Unique apart, united together. Thank you for your support of the annual campaign. Why don't you help a friend?